Turkey's president Recep Tayyip Erdogan is using a failed military coup to tighten his grip on power. More than 250 people died in a night of street battles and aerial bombardments on the 15th of July 2016. But for Turks, revolt is nothing new. The country experienced coups in 1960, 1971, 1980 and in 1997 the prime minister stepped down under pressure from the military. Erdogan has been encouraged by the botched uprising, widening a purge of more than 80,000 soldiers, judges, academics and other officials. The latest highlights one of Turkey's biggest problems, a division that's tearing the country apart. So here's the situation. Turkey's political identity echoes its geography. Straddling the Middle East and Europe, it's a nation where East meets West. The father of modern Turkey is the military officer Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, who led the nation at the founding of the post-Ottoman state in 1923. Since then, the Turkish armed forces have played a central role in maintaining the secular, western-looking society Atatürk envisioned. The AK party was first elected in 2002, with Erdogan becoming prime minister the following year. As Turkey's most powerful ruler since Atatürk, Erdogan is instead moulding Turkey back into an Islamic world power by giving a voice to an underclass of Islamic conservatives. Many Turks love him. The size of the economy nearly tripled in a decade. But over the last few years, he stifled political debate while fighting accusations of corruption. In 2014, he began purging the police and judiciary, detained journalists and tightened control of the internet. He says those responsible for the latest coup attempt are followers of Fatula Gulen, an Islamic cleric in self-imposed exile in the US. That's been denied by Gulen, who was once an ally, but then became a critic of Erdogan's government, accusing it of corruption. And Erdogan has not been shy about his ambitions, building a 1,150-room presidential palace, a complex four times the size of Versailles and over 30 times larger than the White House. Here's the argument. While Erdogan is denounced for being increasingly autocratic, he's still admired. His party's rule has been the longest period of political stability since the Second World War. He's built hospitals and schools. Poorer Turks have seen living standards rise under his control. Over the years, the Turkish people have been divided on what they think about the man in charge. Turkey's been a member of NATO since 1952, but it hasn't been able to join the EU, which has been critical of the country's track record on civil liberties and lack of democratic reform. Loved and loathed by many, Erdogan doesn't look like he has plans to leave power anytime soon.